All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Uh, thank you very much to Dave Davis for filling in today. We had some COVID problems, so great to have a game tonight. They are coached by Kenny Garcia. Logan, of course, coached by Ed Smith. Logan will kick.
Jeremy Jones, number five. Paul was illegal block in the back. All right, looks like they're starting off on stage at 41. Go, Marcus! Quarterback Marcus Sanders in the shotgun, looking for the snap. Running back on the front tip. Snap. Looks like a lot of the there. Really nice tackle there by number 24 for Grace Davis. That would be Jose Olvera. Good start, but looked like a slip there for number 32. That would be Sammy Flores. That was number seven, Jordan Mendoza. Just shy of a first down. Mr. Will moved up on his feet. Yeah, but Logan's starting off aggressively. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're short staff right now. We're very short staff. So I'm doing scoreboard and the casting. And, and if there's any student, any current student that's being good in that, would like to help out with this broadcast, please contact the student. So, uh, so any CSC that pays for us, that's here. Meanwhile, we're on the 40. So, Soyos did get a first down. That's looked up about another three yards. Jay Ngong, number eight, with the carry. Giovanni Valverde is a tackle with the seven spot. Tackler by number 10, that would be Genesis Duncan Yusulu. Uh, 
Just like a loss on the play, but definitely a play. Like there are four Colts on there. Just strength it out. I guess they're letting them play tonight. The only penalty, we, the two penalties are the offsides and the illegal block in the back. I was just told we also had a face mask. Two penalties going out to the bad one with face
Is there a line drive kick kneeling for the out of bounds marker and there you go. There's the flag. Out of bounds, I believe, right at the 19 or the uh, whistle marker. Yeah, right around the 16. Screen is I think it was a backwards pass. It looked like a backwards pass. Ball plays on the 45. Snap. Ooh, shut down right there on the 43. No, let's see on that play. David Tufal, number 43, the best time. Third and 
clock rolling. Two, three, five, five. Pass. This is a deep pass. One on one. And was it complete? No, it was not. Yeah, I think I think that's just kind of bias. Um, I know we're kind of biased because we're winning for life. I don't think that should have been a flag. It looked like from that angle probably. Yeah, it looked like it looked like a pass. Yeah, it, it could have been both ways. I would just let the play here. Exactly. I definitely agree with you. Let them play. It's like they're going for it off the left of 13. No, they're going to cut it. Oh, the ball! Oh, Davis called a timeout. Davis called timeout. Cast the timeout. Everything would have went wrong in that position. For the brand. <laughs> For the brand. All right. First down and 10 now from the one yard line. James Logan is lining up. Three receivers to the two receivers to the right direction. One receiver left. Let's be careful. They're risking a safety here. Yeah. Inside handoff here. He's going to get a couple yards. He's going to leave him. He's going to get a couple yards. Kenny Flora is a good run. Uh, Sammy Flora is no pressure at all, but uh, you're going in the shoes of Chase Sims. <laughs> Definitely a uh, storied running back for James Logan High School last season. Chase Sims absolutely elevated the squad around him last year. James Logan team trying to make their way back to the playoffs. One on one here. Patterson incomplete. A little too much arm on that one. Patterson almost had his man beat. Victor Rojas and him, same, a similar size, but uh, definitely you do not want to put Patterson on one. On yeah, he just ran right past Rojas. And had that ball been placed perfectly, he would have been gone. Indeed, and that's a great point that you bring up too, because even if you're putting your number one corner on, yeah, and the other team's number one receiver, the receiver knows where the ball is going. The corner doesn't. Yeah, even like he gets the release too. Exactly. Do you see the flag? It looks like that's gonna be a safety. Definitely have to get rid of it faster. I think that was number six uh, causing that safety for Davis. John Valdez. Nice play. Credit to V. 
definitely not just a as low, but it, it is also connecting the positions that they are good in. Specifically, not very good positions to win the so far here on the they don't look like they're in peace, but they also aren't going to be able to get them, so that's not very really good. Normally, you want to have about a 10 play, you can tell play drive at this point. Yeah, it's also the preparation for this game. We just got word this morning that this game was going to be Exactly. So, so the, for both teams, it's hard to play a game with very little preparation. Exactly. I mean, I imagine a lot of the players who left last night said to me, I'm going to go to the game. This is not much to turn on now. Couple holes in on this head. Took a good look and bounce. <laughs> did, but he has come around and just thought to himself, oh boy, what do I do? Yeah, <laughs> do you I got go five left? Colts running towards you. You, <laughs> exactly. you do get I, down. Do I, do I go left and chase, chase the two guys, or do I go right and try to beat three guys? <laughs> no, I think it's the best choice for him to stay down. You don't want to lose that ball. <laughs> you got five guys. Exactly. First down and ten now. Cards will start on their own 20. Pass is complete. Okay. About seven yards. Valdez with the catch. Duncan to Sulu and Walk on that play. Lost a yard as well. right up the middle and this is an open Big run. Jeremy Jones probably saved a touchdown on that play. Nice tackle number five. Yeah, everybody's saying that. That was number eight, James Brown. Big game. About two yards on that play, that'll end the first quarter.
again. 45 yard line. Deep ball here. This could be trouble. Incomplete. They had a power pass in the field. Now they were not incomplete. Intended to see that in play. And Victor Rojas. And a good play on the ball right there by number five. Jeremy Jones. Yeah, Jeremy Jones got away with that pass interference. I think he could have sworn they were going to call that one. He had his back to the ball. No, this is like the late hit is the ball, so that'll be. That was a. That was a late call. Large for David. They just lost something. I don't know. They lost something. It looks like it is a pass interference indeed. Yeah, that was a that was very late call. A very, very late call. I was just informed that it was a late hit, actually, on oh, the quarterback. On the court, the they didn't call the pass interference. They called the late hit. 15 yards, personal foul. A little bit of a game there. V with the tackle number two. This is an John, right around the 26 yard line. 27. Uh, they're marking out the 27. Yep, they're marking out the 27. 11.30 left to play here in the second quarter. 52 years old. Jay probably has maybe, what, 30, 40 pounds on him? Yeah, yeah. Jay, the running back for Great State of High School, running full speed at him. Dennis with absolutely no hesitation whatsoever, goes right on and tries to make a play. You got to respect the effort, ladies and gentlemen. Always have to respect the effort. Well, this is a bad snap, and Logan has it! Number 61, going, going, going! Alec Rodriguez is in for a defensive James Logan touchdown. Big man scoring the touchdown. Big man scoring the touchdown. Reminds me of the Packers versus the Patriots on their kickoff. Scoop and score party in the end zone, baby. That's how we do it. Feels great. And what a play that was. No flags on the field either. That was the best snap. Turn of the Jets. Number 61, Alex Rodriguez. You do not see that kind of touchdown too well. I'm so sorry. No problem. It looks like James Morgan is going to try and go for two shifts to even out the score and make him an extra point earlier. Yeah, it looks like Coach doesn't want to risk the uh, two shifts trick again. I tried just trying to get that easier. Yeah. I mean, I would get back on second, honestly. Yeah, especially with, with the way James is playing right now. Well, yeah, they're playing very difficult. We have to be careful, though, because. A 10 point lead, you're not doing justice here. You definitely have to get the two point conversion. One on one. Patterson is incomplete. It's out of the end zone. Oh, they got a flag down. They're going to get a flag here. They got called out every time. Flag on the play? Push Patterson right out the end zone. Here we go again. Like pass interference to the Colts to get out of the crack at it. On the two yard line, two point conversion here. Handoff at the middle, and they got it for the two point conversion. Up the middle, that one works. Number 32. Sam Flores with the touchdown. Thank you. 
voice is out of condition. Ah, uh, look, hey, you, me too. I, I can say the same. Like, we've been out of it for so long. And the last thing you guys just talked to, the British and gentlemen, if you're trying to scream, scream, or, you know, like, do, do a, a, a recorded podcast or, or whatever, do not scream talking. Talking to you. There are a lot of terrible things you have to do. And so many people don't talk to you. Especially in Europe, which is in most of them. Uh, I learned that the hard way. There's a flag on the field. Oh, my God. Set off the flags on that flag. Man mentioned how green the Logan jersey looked this year. Oh, yeah. The new red uniform. Cold red uniform. Cold red. Throwing it back to the 90s. Exactly. We have a heck of a... Stop it! What is that? Logan I've fans love to talk trash. I've never seen that call in my life. What was it? That might have been a clipping. It could have been a clipping. Offset. Okay, so they're called offsetting penalties. <laughs> yeah. The first one was a block below the knees, and the second one was unidentified. By but they are re-kicking this ball. Or so we'll re-kick that? Yeah, they are re-kicking this ball. You can go and There's less than worse, because we're closer. Just really quickly, everybody, uh, for the broadcast, we can get the food, we can explain. One of us got stopped for a step because we're either talking to a comic or we're talking to the food people trying to figure out what's going on in here. Um, we stole a comic book together and all of a sudden, as a matter of fact, for the first time I've seen Mr. Boyd here at James Logan and not on my store for the, for the very first time this year, maybe even over a year. It's very interesting as opposed to a store a little bit of Uh, yesterday, my arm felt like it was going to fall off. <laughs> it was worth it, though. It was worth it. Sparks will start on the plane. It's an end around is about to happen here. And Logan's watching it. Get it to the end around. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Genesis clobbered it. It could go either way. They're calling on legal blocking the back. Yeah, they're calling on Davis. So legal blocking the back. That one's going back to the back. I think the team's going to be trying to be a lot more vocal than normal. All we're missing is the bad. Uh, unfortunately, yes, and there's no substitute for the band. We do not have recorded uh, music for the band. Uh, if the band people are not listening to me, uh, please contact Coach Frank or Mr. Gasso uh, if you do have some recorded music for us. Oh, the trumpet snapped! Bump all over to get the back. Get in. going to get it back there. Uh, Jay- yeah, that is Jay for. Uh, Oh, yeah, Jay for a season. We're going to have the wrong office people. They had it for Jay Shaw. They're still in that running back. Robert Mudo is in it. Oh, they sure don't get a lot of fun over there. Most of them left is Jay. Is it a point Looks like defense is going to blitz here, and they are going to blitz. And it plays right into the game, they're going to blitz, but it's good. Good move there by uh, Davis. That would be number 12. 
Blitz again. Taking that one to the other side for a second time. Let's go, defense! Come on, move! Not a complete pass. Well, there again, number six. 29 and a half, I believe. Six with the tackle for Logan, also Kyle. Davis is really cleaning up from their mishap earlier. Yeah, that was a badly. Um, that was a bad ball. That was a design bubble screen to go up three yards, which they needed. That was fourth down. Spartans call timeout. Spartans did call their second timeout. Folks, we'd like you to remember, uh, COVID's still going strong. Please wear your mask. Make sure you cover your nose. 
not to keep your chin warm. No one in the backfield either. You have what, the quarterback under center. Well, that was just a, a, a one second, <laughs> one second play. Honestly, get a get a stopwatch on that ball. That's Couple yards hard up the middle. It's a couple yards. They're marking it at the 22. 72. Rodriguez, 61, and Terry Harrison, number 70. It's a game. Good tackle by Lee. You see that? They've had shoulder pads to each other. You love to see that. Rojas with the catch for the spot. Harrison, number 70, with another tackle. That's Greg Roman for you. <laughs> Man. Ironic, he's now the offensive coordinator for the Ravens. Everybody believes that the Seahawks and, pa and Patriots Super Bowl was the worst play call. Honestly, I think that there's nothing worse than not giving Frank Gore the ball. There's nothing worse than that. Not even the Seahawks can top that off. Try to minimize the mistakes, I would say. Exactly. You want, you want to get a nice, condensed drive here. Get a couple first downs. Get rid of the ball quickly, too. Yeah, indeed. Hand off at the middle. Right at the middle, 15. Mike Martin. He's 
Yeah. 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 Establishing the here as the defense is able to get off the field. Another right at the middle of 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 the field. Third down is forever coming up. Third down is 
I would say don't play too aggressive in this position. You're just using your own territory, go down to 28. I'd say you would just go for a simple draw, something to get you some more yards, you can really punch. Green pass is complete, you get a key on that. Looks like number three, channeling Seth Cowell, who has cast those attackers. The fourth and six, I believe, they're kind of trying. Looks like the offense is staying on the field. They're going for it. You, you might want to just take as much time off the clock as you possibly can. Yes, the clock is still running. So I think that's what Logan's trying to do to use the clock. There's exactly a minute now on the game clock. Marcus is waiting for the signal. It looks like the rest are communicating. Timeout game play. 48 seconds to win. Oh, call the first time now. Now let's talk about Frankie Aragin real quick. Frankie Aragin recently last week got accepted to UCLA and a bunch of other colleges. Uh, had a chance to ask him for a fit and he was able to be on the for that I would do to support for my friends and families and mentors. Without that help, I wouldn't be able to do this today. But especially like the same former teacher, Mr. Light, where like the former teacher is educated to guide me through the college education process and overall his time. There's so much in front of me. Looks like it'll just take a knee and that'll extend the half. That'll end the half. Is there a half time entertainment? So far, the game has just been blocking all the rounds that more on the big baby side. The two obviously getting sort of unsecured and working to deficit that they are facing. The James Logan High School definitely at the prospect right now of a good, good lucky break. Let's see if any of these teams can really clean up some of the messes they got. If they're not, if they're not going to run and run and run and run, we will be taking a half-time break. Thank you for watching. Okay, folks, remember to keep those masks on. It's not spring yet, break yet, and we are not in Florida.
Yeah. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, our halftime break is yeah, yeah, yeah. in the next 50 <laughs> seconds. James Logan High School leading by a score of 14 to 2 on the clock there. And Logan is going to get the ball here to start the second half. We thank you for watching so far. We apologize once again that this, live, this broadcast is not live, unfortunately. This is a recorded broadcast. We're having trouble with the booth and the internet connected in the booth. If anybody from James Logan is listening and knows how to help out, please do so. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, we have no internet connected. All right, everybody. Back to the action here with this kick. Boom. Here comes the return here. It looks like number eight, Marcus Sant. No, that's not Marcus Sant. And there's a uh, penalty on the field. Play is stopped. As Amir Jones died, dove on the ball there after the fumble. It looks like they're going to call an illegal block. I didn't believe I saw a block in the back. I did not see one either. Yeah, that was the back call to start with. That flat, as soon as that flag came down, I was wondering where was the, the penalty. I want to give a quick shout out real quick to uh, David Sanders, the father of Marcus Sanders, for taking over the camera position for us. Operating dual cameras for both the school Illegal block on the and also for us. We appreciate that so much, Dave. Thank you so much. First down and 10 for Marcus Sanders here, his son, with the running back to the right hip. Oh, and the ball is bobbled. Sanders is going to run out to the 24, 25 yard line. Central ball is the 25 yard line is stopped because of his frame, his 6'4 frame. Man, Sanders is huge. <laughs> Absolutely huge. He was 6'3 as a freshman starting on JV. Oh, man. 
I knew he was gonna be a stud as soon as I saw him um, start on that JV roster. Well, they got uh, they got him on um, on max preps at six four currently. He's getting he's getting uh, two inches since his freshman year. There's the uh, junior and the hand knock to number thirty two, Sammy Flores, and a nice run by there Sammy Flores. There you go. Nice run, gets a couple more yards. Looks like he got the first down, and, and, and the it's first a game down. Logan first down. Eleven fourteen to play here. Great job by Sanders to um, secure that ball and run for a few yards. That first down. Yes, indeed. That second down, Sammy Flores so far really looks sharp for Team Logan. Again, continuing the beautiful footwork that he's got. And this is a pass out to Patterson. Patterson drops it. He was all alone there. It looked like an option screenplay because they had both options open on either side of the field. Davis was showing blitz and they sent the person and backed off two people. Indeed. So they got Frankie on the uh, on the shallow part of the field. I'm sorry, on the deep end of the bottom of, of the screen. They haven't targeted him yet. Let's see if they do so. They did target him on a callback touchdown. Pass to Patterson again and he drops it. Good idea, man. All over it there is Victor Rojas. Victor Rojas and uh, Jeremiah Patterson have a nice matchup up there across the screen constantly throughout this game. That's definitely a matchup to continue looking for as this game progresses. Because this game is really a toss up. Both of these teams can he win. He did it. have Rojas beat on one, on one stage round, but Sanders kind of overthrew it. Well, he had pressure on his face too on that play. Yeah. Sanders with Sammy to his right hip. Communicating is the offensive line now. It looks like they're going to pick up this blitz coming in from the middle of the top of the screen. Right now. Well, top of the screen and the middle. Sanders gets out of traffic, throws on the run, one on one, incomplete. So it looks like there's some contact, and there's a flag on the field on the opposite side. On looks the, like that's going on the bottom game. of the screen. Looks like that's going to level. The flag. There were two flags on the field from what I was informed. It might yeah, be there's, there's one. There's one on the uh, on the 46 yard yeah, line, there's one. far far side. One on the far side, one on the near side. I believe it's going to be offsetting. It looks like it's a holding and a pass interference. That's what they're calling it. Go. So it's either holding or holding, holding and holding, or holding and pass interference. Yeah, Sammy completely whiffed that block, um, that blitz pickup, caused Sanders to roll out. Yeah. I think I definitely saw a hold coming somewhere from the line in my peripheral vision. Yeah, that flag came out of my, the corner of my eye. I saw another one on the top of the screen. They're still talking this over. We'll see what. They're probably going to ask him what he wants to do here. Yeah. Bad sign that this could possibly be both on James Logan. They are not going through James Logan's sideline, so this is definitely on James Logan. They go blindside block. Both flags on Logan. Uh, the legal man it's a pass out on James Logan. James Logan also had an eligible receiver down the field as well. Call it that. The legal man downfield is what the call was. The legal man downfield. So I thought it was a, a blindside block, but it wasn't. It looked like it could have been called also from my peripheral vision. Yeah, yeah. It James like Logan's going to punt it called. nonetheless. Is that Patterson kicking there? I believe that's Patterson. Oh, Patterson's no, he's gonna going to run it. it. He breaks the tackle. Can he get this first down? He does. He's going. Patterson going. Make it pay for this. And he's brought down by Victor Rojas. Victor Rojas again gets it. And then Victor Rojas absolutely killing it on the field today. This is one of the best matchups I've ever seen play out on the field. No flags on the field either. What an amazing effort play. Unbelievable. I don't know what Davis was thinking there. They should have saw that. Well, they really saw should have right saw that. That's, yeah. You called it out immediately. I totally thought that Davis saw right through them. Yeah, that is his really well, one guy missed. One guy missed in the back. The Jets. Sanders. They cannot. Going right side, and that's caught by number four. That's Angela Forbes. Oh, I'm sorry, that's 14. That's not Angela Forbes. That is Javen Javen the catch. Uh, for the uh, for Davis, that was Javen Pilon with the catch. First down, Colton. 
Sanders. Now on the shotgun. Single back. Now going to his left hip in the motion. Big handoff. Going right and left side, sorry. To number three. He, DJ Johnson. Ten minutes remaining on the clock. And it's James Logan the offense a little bit more up tempo now as Looks like the intensity in this game is starting to get to them. Finally, they're starting to wake up a little bit. Another first down for Logan. Motion to the right hip and also motioning on the line here. Handoff. And oh, what a big hit right there by number eight. That's Jay again, the running back. Oh, man, to close that gap fast. Hey, let's go! Shout out to the big hit by number eight, Jaden Blum. That was, I believe it was Dwight Martin on the handoff, was it? Yeah, Dwight Martin was in at the running back position. I think they're probably letting Sammy Flores rest, who's been in for the last two quarters. Motion to the right hip of Sanders. And another handoff here. He's got an open lane. He's got an open lane. Can he get some blocks? He doesn't. He's brought down right around the four yard line. Brought down by number five. And I don't have a five on the. Nice there by Dwight Martin. Sorry, so sorry about that, everybody. I just turned up my gauge. Um, don't have a number five on the roster sheet for Grace Davis. So good tackle nonetheless. First down and ten now from the four yard line. Sorry, four, first and goal from the four yard line. My goodness. Sanders. He's looking that way already. Hand it off, and he's going to be in for a James Bogan touchdown. Dwight Martin touchdown. Movement. And the Colts now have a commanding 18 point lead. Let's see what they're going to do with the extra point. They might go for two again because they might not want to try and risk that one point conversion again. I would go for the PAT here. No, I think it looks like Coach Smith is calling for two. I, and I and I think if uh, if they if they should probably try and uh, car count here, maybe yeah. see if if Grace Davis can try and uh, jump here. Yeah, they're not going to go hard count. Yeah, oh, no, no. then they we jump still. They still jump. Oh. And off it's a, and it's an offsides. There you go. We call it out immediately because now this defense they're probably amped up now because. At this point yeah. in time, if the offense doesn't score, this is a huge, huge problem. And not only that, but if they get the two-point conversion here, Logan's up by 20. This is a huge problem here. This late the hard count quarter. I called it on the hard count. I mean, it's it's a very smart play. Now you just got to hand it off and get an inch. And he's not going to get it. He breaks a tackle. Oh, my goodness. Is he going to get this two-point conversion? No one can stop him. Dwight Martin is out to land 20 yards. Not quite enough for the touchdown. Javin Pillen got there for a shutdown tackle. Oh my goodness, almost got that two point conversion. So now Grace Davis has to probably feel a little bit more relaxed now, knowing that they're only going to be down by 18 and not by 20. Sayar Kaliki, I believe, uh, missed a block for that play. Yeah. Dwight Martin was the guy carrying the ball. He did a great job breaking those tackles. He did. And Dwight Martin, like I said, that footwork, it's going to be hard to get a clean tackle on him because he's shifty. He's going to be able to move. They are also playing on other officials' turf, so that's another another factor. Yes. The footwork is very important with this turf. Exactly. I mean, it just it looks like Dwight Martin has not skipped leg day in the last 30 years. <laughs> the kid's probably younger than 17. That's what those ladders are for. Yeah, exactly, those ladders. Do not skip on those ladder drills, folks. I also got word about this game that Logan did prepare for this game 14 hours ahead of time. They had a backup plan. Onside kick. Uh, uh, and, uh, onside kick. Onside kick doesn't work. Nice hands, number 71. Brought down to the 50 yard line. That onside kick reminds me of my freshman year at this school, the first football game I attended. About seven, 
seven onside kicks executed by Clayton Valley Tar. They're all recovered by the kicking team. Exactly, and that and that ended up playing into how they went and won the state championship this past year. Now, handoff, Jay. And he's going to shut down. No, he's not. He gets outside. One layer defense now for the defense. They're not going to be able to stop him before he gets the first down. No Another way. Run by no Milan, way, Jose. Number eight. B with a tackle. B with the B got tackled. Tackle. Tackle. Exactly. B got the tackle. And Jay gets the first down there. And how about this? <laughs> the big man, number 70, Terrence Harrison again. Terrence the great player. Okay. Hey man, Terrence is absolutely a monster over there. What about Alec Rodriguez earlier scoring that big man touchdown? Yes. The D line looking sharp as of late. In the first quarter, they did not really look as good. It looks like they had to kick up the rocks a little bit, but so far, they've done a good job. Pass to the top of the screen, almost intercepted. That was a tip drill, could have went either way. And V went one hand on it. I think if V goes two hands there, he, he gets that pick every single time. They definitely do not have any choice here. They have to get a touchdown here. You do not want to give the ball back to Logan again without scoring points at least. This is a lot easier if they can score here and possibly even get a two point conversion and make it a 20 to 10 game. A field goal will not do you good here. But Grace Davis here. They got to execute this play with Grace. And. Delay oh, this game. is going to be a delay of game on the offense. A delay of game on the partner. Hey, Natasha, I, I can't do it all. Lawrence with a miscue. Backing up the sideline. Now, fourth and 15, this is just getting even more harder now for Grace Davis to try and even score, let alone get a first down. They got to get to the 15 yard line for a first down. Wide open over the middle of the field, incomplete and intercepted! Tinton intercepted! That is Devon B! Duncan Nisulu breaks the tackle! Going! 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 Pick six, Corey in the end zone, and there's a flag on the field! Touchdown, flag. The player from Davis is down. Indeed, there is a player down from Davis. Duncan. <laughs> I did not see what happened. And it looks like it looks like it was called possibly an illegal block on the back for yeah, Grace Davis. Yeah, he got blindsided, I believe. What a great tip drill by B. Duncan Mitsulu. Two hands this time too. Yeah, the ball got tipped up, and he just, he was just right there. That's why you always got to preach two hands on the football at all times. He's been playing lights out tonight. Same He's been playing brother, lights Jennifer. out. This whole defense and Josh Galang with the blitzes, constantly setting that edge. A great defense by James Logan so far. I think they're trying to build a defensive legend. All right, let's see what the call is. As 
everybody's atten attending to the injured player on the field. And I wanted to say real quick, everybody, uh, there are going to be times where, especially for me, you're going to hear us very muffled, you know, for the most part, and then us very clearly. Uh, sometimes we take off the masks and say something. It does hinder the ability of speech. But we have masks on in here pretty much at all times. So that's why we probably sound a little muffled as the interception is going to, well, the pick six is going to come off the board as James Logan... Yeah, Logan does still keep the ball, though. Yeah, Logan still is going to keep the ball, but they're going to call it a legal block. Yeah, it looks like they're spying this ball at the 30. After that, uh, by here's a, here's a note that's worthy. Three touchdowns called back tonight on penalties. Yeah, had had there no, been no penalties tonight against Logan, this game would be a blow already. Yeah, it would be running clock time. Yeah, the only points that the Spartans scored were the safety. It was a safety early in the game. Ever since that safety, Marcus and the entire offense have been playing sharp. Exactly. Not to jinx them. <laughs> First down and 10 with Dwight Martin at the right hip. And this is an end around, and Grace Davis has it. Local. And talk about. A, 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Talk about speaking too soon. Put that on the highlight reel. Oh my goodness. It looks like that gets sweet by wrong. They hurt me. Oh no. The mother of all karma coming after us for that one. That's the power of being an, an analyst. You, you can jinx anybody. Well, <laughs> one one of them that comes up uh, real, uh, like to me is the, the call of Chris Collinsworth saying that Brock Osweiler looks uh, looks pretty yeah, sharp, and then yeah, he throws a yeah. pick six directly afterwards. <laughs> That's the one that I think of. That's a, <laughs> It's so funny, I was thinking, oh my goodness, imagine that there's a turnover right now. <laughs> Lucky we had a cold call on the ball. Yes. As uh, there was a penalty that took it back, so Logan's going to uh, keep the ball here. Pass is incomplete. Oh, and it, looks, it looks like Sanders is just not getting his proper football down. I mean... I think he's releasing the ball too quickly. His receivers don't have haven't had. And not only that, but I mean, you just see like they're not even on the mark either. Yeah, that's a that was a dangerous decision right there. That could have went down in direct for six. You know, as a 49er fan, I have plenty of bad memories of that. I'm sure you do too. Yeah. Hey, Logan. Sanders with the running back to the left hip. It's going to be a fake handoff. And Patterson's one on one, but that ball's gonna be incomplete. A good uh, shadow right there by by Jordan, Jordan Mendoza. Yeah, it looks like they're sending two people on Patterson this, this time around. So that was third down. So here comes the punting team. Looks like there was a little bit of miscommunication between Marcus and Patterson. Well, not only that, but the the route broke out into the shallow cross of the yeah. uh, the linebacker there, and he came in to clean that up. And that would have been a, a little bit more than a pass; it would have been an, an interception. As that ball was gone. Jose Sanchez bobbled that ball, almost muffed it, and gave it back to Logan. But Patterson now uh, punting for the ball. Yes, after that amazing fake. <laughs> we got to keep the uh, the uh, Grace Davis side honest here. Their defense definitely cleaned up, though, for Davis. Let's see if their offense can repay the favor for this drive. They need to get into that. Well, they, they have to get into the end zone. I mean... This is not going to be very easy, but this oh, is 
it, it, it'll make it a little bit more easier to score here. Head up to Jay, and he's going to get absolutely mauled by the player from James Logan. Yeah, I think that was the entire... Uh, That's 70 again to Terrence Harrison. Exactly. More help from Genesis for the 10th. No gain on the play. Going to bring up a second down and 10 now for James Logan. Or, I'm sorry, for Grace Davis. And uh, uh, no, pass to the outside. That's Mendoza. Mendoza makes a man miss. Going to get high tackled uh, by uh, Jeremy Jones. A little bit, a little bit of the number of the number six by Isaiah Dyer was that one? Tackle some Oh, that was Isaiah. My bad. That was not uh, Jordan Mendoza. That was actually uh, John Valdez. Number six. About a two yard game. Third and six now from the 35 yard line. Pass. Looking to throw. Deep throw, and it's going to be caught by Grace Davis. And a big first down on a lucky bounce. That tip drill worked in their favor this time. Yes. So Jordan, as Mendoza had a uh, had the first go at it, and then Rojas came in and cleaned it up. Rojas absolutely played the game of his life. It just doesn't look like on the scoreboard. Well, yes, indeed. He kept Patterson in check for a lot. Pass to the outside now. Six. Has it for a first down and more. No, he's not even going to get the first down. Yeah, about six or seven yards on that play. It looked like he was possibly going to get that edge to get that first down. down That's a classic case of uh, you're calling the game too fast there, bud. <laughs> Second down and four now. That was a five yard game for Bob And here we go. Adrian awaiting the snap. I'm oh, sorry, this is not even Adrian. This is a direct handoff to the running back here, one of the running backs on this squad. That's Jose Sanchez. He plays outside linebacker, plays wide receiver, also plays some running back. There he is in the running back position, but he's designated as a receiver. And Sanchez is going to stay in now as he's going to be playing as receiver here in the Wildcats. Third down. He's going to bring up a third down and one. They need a yard. And they're going to get that. And then some. Inside the five now is Grace Davis for the first time. It seems, I think, is this the first time they, they were in the five partner? I believe so, yeah. A couple of option plays led them up there. Yes, definitely switching up the play call here. Well, you got to start getting more creative. First of all, these kids got to gotta start having fun. Second of all, you got to make sure that they score here. Keep their defense off the field as well. Indeed. They are tired. Now, if you're the James Logan defense, bend but don't break here. Hand out to the outside, and that's good for a Grace Davis touchdown. Touchdown, Spartans. And the Spartans finally get on the board offensively. As that is technically the first points that the offense for the Spartans has scored Looks all like game long. Touchdown for the big back, Jay. Well, they, Mom, they definitely the have to go for two here. Now cut it down to ten if they go for two. Exactly. Jay on the touchdown there for the Spartans. If not, then they'll be down by 12 points, which which isn't bad, but it's better to be ahead of schedule a little bit if they, if they go for two. So let's see what's going to happen here. They definitely have to go for two, and they are definitely going to do so. Motion left, Play man there. and they're going to throw. The slant is not caught, but they're going to call a pass interference there. There was definitely a lot of contact in the end zone. Yes, they, uh, Logan ran a man there. You, you see the motion, the man following the motion. Well, they, they were following the motion. Yeah. They, were running, they were running man, and they had about four guys stacked on the left side of the screen. 
Yeah, sometimes it's just best to throw that ball into the crowd and hope, for, hope to God there's a pass interference. Yeah, which and there's did a, get. And exactly, there's a pass interference there. Good shot by Gabriella now, who's yeah. back on the cameras. Once again, we want to thank uh, David Sanders for uh, filling in for Gabriella while she was gone. David, thank you so much for doing that for us. Operating two cameras at that time. Here we go. The second two-point try. <laughs> this is our second try second two-point try of the night. <laughs> and they didn't get it. No good. That ball was no good. good. Ball ball to no good. 20 to 8 ball ball. is going to be your score. Davis, I believe, um, fumbled the ball on the snap. He was probably to, to fall on it. So it's going to no good. Still down by 12. Still, still anybody's good. Davis has shown some light. And one thing to note is that this is the closest uh, James Logan football game, uh, well, James Logan football hot home game since the start of the home season last year. Exactly. I mean, last season, I don't know if any of you remember, but James Logan absolutely just ran through the NBA league. Like, it was nothing. That's under Coach Richard Rodriguez, too. And it's just... Just absolutely, they, they ran through that team, and uh, uh, through those teams. I mean, I think the closest game was against uh, the row at this with the score of 36 to 13. That wasn't even the home game. Uh, San Leandro was another game uh, for the 880 trophy. He was 19, oh, yes, he's 21 to 19. Logan won on the 33 yard field. Uh, yeah, here's, here's a return going opposite field. A nice return. Can he get the corner? Oh, my goodness, he's gone. A burst of speed for Jeremy Jones, who's in for a James Logan touchdown. And there's a flag. And there's a flag on the 21-yard line. That is going to be the fourth touchdown called back for James Logan. You know, it's just all about discipline. You get one seam open, you, you know, let your guy run the ball off the field. Like, there's no need for holding or blocking the back. But that developed kind of early. It looks like that level down at the 20. So that's what happened right when he got the ball. He was the number six? Yeah. No, it was uh, Jeremy Jones number five. Jeremy Jones number five. He got some speed on that though. You gotta give him credit for that return. Great effort by him. As uh, I would like to stress just some control on our on our crowd. Please we do not want to have anybody thrown out or heckling. Heckling is not allowed in the stadium at a high school sporting event, please. We understand that uh, parents do get worked up during games, but please, not here. <laughs> First down and ten now from the ten yard line. And off right up the middle is Martin. Yeah, just as you were talking about that, I heard the, I'm sorry, it's Sammy Flores. I heard the spectator say something awful. You know, oh no. You know what? Back to Modesto. No, 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 no. We do, we do we not condone that here. Here. We do not condone that here. Not in the stadium. We like integrity. Exactly. Three eyes. Three eyes. <laughs> Second down now, handoff up the middle, and just didn't get enough for the first down, but still a, a very, very good effort by Sammy Flores. Big third down here. No, it's for first down, but good leg drive there by Sammy Flores, 32. Looks like it's going to be a third and one, possibly. Maybe a third and two. Third and two from what I'm looking at the markers right now. Yeah, it looks like the marker's at the 18-yard line here. Not a very good view of the marker at all. Yeah, we only have the chain gang on our home side. Nice. Yeah. Handoff up the middle, and that's going to be a first down for James Logan High School. That's a first down. Uh, uh, Sammy Flores got that first down. I cannot tell from this angle. I don't know if you can, Armando, but I can see like, uh, uh, up the middle of there and move that's 24, 23, 23 yards. All right. 
Sanders is looking right here to the right side of the screen. It looks like it's going to be a pass play. Motion to the right. Looking. Throws. Overthrown. Yeah, that was some sort of a pick play. He had someone on the bottom of the screen. Over that and, and, and it looks like after that play, Sanders is, uh, is hobbling a little bit on his on his right foot. That might be why his footwork has not been the best tonight. It looks like he's just uncomfortable on his right foot. Maybe he yeah. an awkward step. After he took that hit for the safety, I well, think that's the lead. That well, yeah, that, that safety, it did not look like a clean play. And Sanders is again looking right. He's telegraphing the play again. But he hands it off this time. <laughs> and, ooh, Sammy Flores gets hit. Definitely. And Victor Rojas is absolutely not scared to hit, is he? Victor Rojas of the Grace Davis side, absolutely not afraid to hit whatsoever. First down and 10 again for James Logan. Pass going right. And it's going to be a first down and more. DJ Johnson. DJ Johnson with a catch. Nice tackle. They're stopping their further run goal by number 13, Les Derma. Looks like Logan's building up some tempo this drive. He definitely looks like he's building up some tempo. No first down for the Colts. Well, I think that what they're trying to do now is just get this defense to rest also. Yeah, they're trying to keep their defense off the field. Single back. They're moving out to the inside option. And they should be on the opposite line. That hard count got Logan. More than it did get um, Davis. Davis was showing blitz, so I guess that kind of kind of caused us to move and, a little bit. And not only that, but James Logan, from what I can see here, they're not using very much of, of a hard count. Offside pull. Yeah. Using a silent hard count, from my understanding. Exactly. Marcus has been using his hands all night. Davis showing blitz again. It looks like the blind doesn't see it, but there you go. A little bit of a flop from the center. <laughs> yeah. Let's give him a Grammy for that. Yeah, well, that goes right back to first and ten after that hard count. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, they were sending a blitz straight up the middle, straight up the A gap. Well, James Logan. I mean, and for every and for everything that they do wrong. It seems like Grace Davis gives them a break for it. Yeah. Oh, they almost jumped again. And off to Flores. Flores gets absolutely shut down there. Is, the is that Jay again? Oh my goodness, it's Jay again. How many tackles does Jay have? Um, I would say close to eight. <laughs> I've been hearing his name all night. H him and, uh, him and Flores. Or, I'm sorry, Rojas. Him, him and Rojas, Rojas, V, and Genesis have been tearing it up tonight. Absolutely either. tearing it up. I mean, it's, it's been a it's been a good, fun, physical game to watch so far for both sides. This is a handoff here, and this is Martin. Dwight Martin gets a couple right, of yards here. Out of that one. Third down. Seven yards. As time is going to expire here, and it's going to be the fourth quarter now. And heading into the fourth quarter, twenty to eight is your score. James Logan in the lead. We'll take a caster timeout. This is the James Logan High School versus Grace Davis High School broadcast.
All right. Logan is all set up and ready to go. Here comes Grace Davis. They're getting ready to set up here. And let me unmute Brian real quick. Brian is now unmuted. All right, we got that out of the way. It's a big task pressing all three of these buttons over here. <laughs> I don't have a cough switch, so you, you are my mute guy. Exactly. Hand off here to Martin. Martin's gonna not get any angles, but he's gonna slip a couple of tackles. Martin absolutely crushing it with his footwork. Well, I mean, I'm just baffled about how he got how he gained yards there. There's, there was guy after guy after guy after guy just jumping at him. <laughs> Looking like they're spotting it two yards from the marker. It, it did look like he, he leaned over, but they're probably looking at where he touched down with his feet. So it should be fourth down and two. Yeah, they're, they're staying oh, with the ball. They're fourth down and two. They're going to stay on the field here. If you get him with a hard count, Davis is staying yeah, yeah, Davis is going not forward on fourth down. Oh, if you're Grace Davis right now, you don't move yeah. whatsoever. You move, give Logan this first down, it's pretty much impossible. Yeah, Marcus is doing everything with his hands, trying to get him to jump outside. Good decision right there by Dave Logan to try and get that first down on the penalty. But Grace Davis showing a lot of grace. <laughs> great discipline by Davis for yeah, not jumping discipline. there. Marcus was, was yelling out, told you, he was moving his hands trying to get them to jump off sides. It didn't work that time. Definitely. It didn't work like it did on the off sides. Yeah. Uh, on the off sides for the, uh, uh, the two point conversion. Well, we're going to have to see what Grace Davis is going to do after that long touchdown drive. They need another touchdown drive, but this time they need the two point conversion. Well, actually, I, you know what? I'm going to go back on my statement. They don't need the, they don't need the two point conversion. They just need a one point. They they do need a stop here though. They, they can they can win. Starting the parts down the field. Definitely, and it looks like James Logan is going to go for it here. No hard count this time. I guarantee you that. That might play into James Logan's advantage if they don't go hard count. But yeah. they they aren't. It's a handoff. And Sanders, I don't think he got it. Maybe enough. Yeah, he got it. He got it. They're spotting it at the 41 yard line. And it's a first down at the 41 yard line. Now that's a crusher if you're Grace Davis because now at this point, what a gutsy call though! What call that absolute gutsy call because Marcus know, stumbled for a second, but he did get the first down. Well, yeah, and, and, I mean, if you don't get that first down, then chances are you're in a tough position here because you're going to have to possibly. Guess we're going to miss. Davis oh, they're, they're going to bring come back if, if we don't get that there. Yeah, that's why it's so gutsy to call that. Now they're measuring it to see where the spot is. I mean, I, I thought he, he looked short. Mar my Marcus answer. stumbled forward, so they might give them this call. Yeah, they're, they're definitely measuring right now. He got it. He got it. Oh, it's still a huge territory. Five inches. First down call. Yeah, the initial spot was, was short. The initial spot was short. Great job by Sanders to, to fall forward after stumbling off the field. Clock is running now. 10.48 on the clock. Motion to the right, uh, to the left hip of Sanders. And it's going to be a pass play here. Going to Frankie Aragini, he's going to stumble though. Logan wants a flag. You can't stop the draft. Hey, nice throw, Logan. Definitely a, a questionable call there. Well, Very definitely aggressive. a questionable call. And that was a dangerous pass, too, because that was in double coverage. Yeah, he, he was shadowed by the safety. Yes, yeah, safety over the shadow of the edge. 
it's also tough too. Another Patterson is going to be shadow too. And coming when, off the bench is uh, coming off the bench is number seventy four Judo. Huh? Absolutely no flags, and the crowd gets a kick out of that. Straight up As that is hill. another James Logan touchdown, and James Logan probably just pulled this one away. They, they did a great job pulling in the extra blocker. To, uh, this is a number 74, I believe. Yeah. Number 74, who uh, who came in, he came in on the motion. Yeah, yeah. He came in on the substitution. He was um, also eligible. Exactly. As Dwight Martin just probably put a a staple on the game as that is uh, DJ Johnson on the two point conversion and now Logan is up by 20 points once again. Number 74, Ken Barjit Jutma opening up that play for the touchdown. 74. As James Logan High School is now in a commanding spot as that touchdown by Dwight Martin probably just absolutely crushed any hope of Grace Davis possibly getting back into this game. One too many mistakes and they didn't wake up. They only woke up on that last drive that they had offensively. Defensively, it, you bring him down to a fourth and two position, you have the guy down about three yards behind the marker and it's the quarterback. You gotta get him down. Yeah, you ought to account for the quarterback, especially in that type of situation. Exactly. You know he has, a, he has wheels, but he does not use them. And he's got frame. Yeah, he, exactly. he has. He's got wheels and frame. He's like a. He's like a more accurate Colin Kaepernick. He, he will run you over <laughs> if you're not careful. Exactly. Definitely an amazing uh, play call and gutsy play call. For that well, position. that was an absolute gutsy drive. Exactly. Together. The deep route that Frankie got uh, forked on. A fourth down and two. The twice we're down to as there's an offsides on yeah, James there Logan. Is an offsides that's like you know as soon as the, I saw that. It's like offsides on that play. And with all these penalties, you, you have to wonder now, with all these penalties, James Logan's in the lead, do you think that maybe d later down the line this this team might not get so lucky? You, you know, th this team um, will learn to um, to get disciplined uh, after tonight's penalties. I believe that this would be a blowout, like I said in the, earlier in the broadcast. This would be at least 30 to 8. Well, I mean, uh, of course, and now I want to, you know, obviously give uh, respect to the Grace Davis uh, uh, fan base. Uh, but they are playing their hearts out tonight, indeed. I 100% I agree with that statement. However, uh, I think without the penalties, we're home right now. Yeah, there's yeah. there's running there's running clock. The game's over by now. <laughs> you know, another another factor is we are playing Odell in this coming week, so that's another thing to watch out for. Making those mistakes against Odell, San Leandro, like that, like you are not gonna win that game. Especially especially mistakes. in Oakland. Yes. In 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 Odell's backyard. Yes, Odell will pick you apart and, and torture you for those penalties. As Bishop O'Dowd, that is a huge uh, mark on the schedule next week, and also schedule, or, or, or not next week, but in the Moreau next two Catholic weeks. Next Catholic. week is Moreau Catholic, and of course, Moreau wants some revenge from last season's loss yes. in, in their homecoming, 36-13, and took the division from them. Yes, embarrassing. Oh, what a huge hit right there by Shimon B. Oh, man. Ouch. He is, is amazing. Special team, defense, and offense. He absolutely blasted Les Derma. <laughs> yeah, last, Derma. last year against against the uh, Heritage High, we saw him hurdle that guy. That was a famous photo I saw all over the internet. That I, that I still see it on my feed here, here yeah. every once in a while. As Derma is probably going to wake up tomorrow morning and realize what just happened to him. He just got absolutely rocked. Man. <laughs> He's got a trainer talking to him now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he was oh, man. after that hit. Man. Well, 
and B, just came and absolutely destroyed him. That's just uh, that simple. Make it hand off, pass up the screen to, <laughs> well, guess who? Victor Rojas. As Victor Rojas has had an absolute game so far today. Unfortunately, hasn't done much for the team, though. Good hands, Rojas. Short game. Let's see how this bug is. <laughs> I said, just seen, I just seen him uh, spit into his gloves and rub, make sure he doesn't have any <laughs> butter yeah. on them. Yeah. And there's an offside on James Logan. Two players jump on number 43 and number 75. That was David Stupa and Giovanni. Yes, I've had that. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. Yes. I can I, I cannot uh, roll the R's with names. I can roll the R's with like words and whatnot. Yeah, but I can't do it with names for some reason. It's very weird. End around. No, it was a fake end around and a handoff right up the middle to Jay. A good play to design. again with a big drive, now, big back, big drive. Here's the thing also with Bryce About Davis. Six yards, six very yards. interesting play designs, very good play calls, yes. but no points. Only six points. You have to wonder now, is James looking really locking up this well? When it comes to when it comes to inside the 35, it seems like James Logan has really just absolutely looked really good. As there's a muffed uh, handoff the there, and Jay there. jumps Number on top four. of it. Those are small four. mistakes are what James Logan is capitalizing. Well, four. exactly. They're they're capitalizing on small mistakes that. I guess like how Logan Grace Davis can fourth make. touchdown from that. Those mistakes could have been capitalized by Davis, but they haven't done anything. Exactly, and, and, and James Logan's making the most out of their lucky breaks. Like, for example, the the the, the fumble that yeah. was recovered by Grace Davis called back, and James Logan still scored a touchdown on that drive. Rojas again, Victor Rojas, and this time he's got a whole sleuth of defenders on him. Galang missed, but uh, Shimon V got the tackle there as... Josh Galang is just absolutely playing like a hawk out there. An absolute hawk. He is just commanding the field defensively. Looks like 22 Obama got him Indeed, they have been locking up. It looks like uh, Grace Davis is not going to even try to, uh, to go for it here. They're going to punt this ball. Big boot. And let that no return. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to return it. And this is going to be a nice return here for, <laughs> for Jeremy Jones. And he's going to go! There are no flags on the field on James Logan! Touchdown! And there's, are there flags? There's a flag. There's a flag again. There's the fifth touchdown call back. Five touchdowns called back for James Logan as the laundry was absolutely, it, it was it was uh, shadowed by all the players on the sideline and the entire James Logan sideline. I didn't even see that laundry yeah, come out. As soon as he got the edge, I believe that's when the flag came out. Well, I heard whistles. That's why I was like, I was pacing back and forth. I wasn't even watching what was yeah, going on in the play. I heard whistles. That call is holding on the Colts. <laughs> oh, man. Five touchdowns called back for James Logan High School. Two of them on Jerry. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jeremy Jones has had two touchdowns called back today. He's probably thinking, my goodness. You got one by Jeremy Jones, Jeremiah Patterson. Everybody's been getting a touchdown called back today. Oh, yeah. They're starting on their 49. And look at Jeremiah Patterson lining up as the running back here. Motion right. Sorry, left. Hand off to Jeremiah Patterson. Shifty. Oh, almost lost the ball there. Nice stiff arm. Gets drove out of bounds. And guess who? Victor Rojas. <laughs> Driving him out of bounds. Of course, down for that. That's enough for a first down. Oh, the horse 
Someone wants a horse collar in the crowd. <laughs> I I didn't I, see it. I apologize for that language if anybody heard that. Oh yes. If anybody has heard any inappropriate language, we apologize. Not us, it's the crowd. And to the crowd, please try and keep your calm. I know this game has a lot of emotion. Definitely a lot of emotions. I mean, five I touchdowns called back. That's not. That's not. That's no uh, small cookie to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to take right there. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see a penalty that should have been called there. Second down here Second from down. inside the 35. Hand off to Patterson. And gonna be brought down just shy of the marker for a first down. Patterson again. Close to the first down. 27 yards. Yep. As currently it's 28 to 8. James Logan is up. Possibly. I mean, this drive really has been shifty for this Colts offense. Hand off to Patterson again. And he's going to be brought down by number seven, Patterson Jordan Mendoza. Big man downfield blocking for the Colts with Isaac Correa on the 56. First down and 10 now from inside the 15. Patterson motions to the left hip of Sanders. Sanders hands it off. Patterson has the outside edge, chooses to go inside, but he's still gonna get it. A James Logan touchdown once again. Touchdown with... Um, As that really just does nothing, but pads out the stats. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> not, not for the sake of the players, just for the sake of our own fans. I don't wanna hear yeah, it. I don't wanna No. It's a fun environment we're in. Exactly. This is just, it, it's been a fun game so far. It's been physical. And here we go with the extra point here. Let's get a name. Terrence Harrison is going to try and kick this extra point. <laughs> Number 70. I saw him during warm ups trying to attempt an extra point. He made one, actually. Oh, and he's got it! <laughs> <laughs> there you go! Terrence Harrison, everybody! Good, That's how you do it! The big man crazy. can kick! <laughs> I bet they got a, I bet, I bet they got a good. position. <laughs> I think that is the greatest elevation we've had all year. Yeah, I, I believe that. I, I think that's the great, that, that is the most vocal anyone has been in our crowd. It looks like they won't have to do that. <laughs> Look at the reaction to the play. Oh my gosh. 35 to 8 is going to be the score here. As personally, I mean, I'm just going to say this. This, this. this will be very controversial, but personally, I think uh, Grace Davis. If they end up making it to the playoffs and they see James Logan, oh no. <laughs> this might be a very, very physical game again if these two teams ever see each other again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these two teams will be just, up for blood. Exactly. I mean, just calling it how I see it here, definitely. But, uh, I mean, if I'm Logan, I'm wanting to win and <laughs> at this point. Next week, Moreau Catholic comes home. Well, Moreau Catholic is going to be out for blood themselves because. Yeah. Like we talked about earlier, Harris took took the took the took the, uh, division, the, the division, and, yeah, and their homecoming exactly. Four turnovers by James Logan in that game, plus a pick six by Chase Sims, one of the best Middle defensive plays I ever seen. Running back, <laughs> amazing. Well, Chase Sims, that's why the the triple threat running back that we have now here at James Logan, it's very very entertaining to watch. Yeah, it's like a three-headed dragon. You got Sam Flores, Jeremiah Patterson. Oh, look at this. V's going to try and get him. No, <laughs> that was not even V, actually. Oh, my goodness. I totally just watched my call. <laughs> Who was that? I can't get a number on it. 
And there's an oh, there's an injury on the field. Because that was actually number three, DJ Johnson. Came on from the edge, from the far edge of the far side of the field, all the way around, ran all the way around the all the blockers. Got to try, trying to get a shoestring tackle, but couldn't really quite get it. I think he was going for the ball there. For I mean, o o honestly, you might as well. I mean, just try and have as much fun as you possibly can now. I mean, on both sides. Out. On both sides, this yeah. you know this game, you've got six minutes left. Just have the time of your life at this point, you know. Yeah, Harris, Harrison made that PAT. Let's see if, let's see if Grace Davis can uh, get a respectable touchdown drive going here. This is a handoff to Jay. And uh, Jay is slow to get up. That's not something you want to see for Grace Davis. Hobbling on his leg, it looks like. As, I mean, honestly, uh, today, tonight Grace Davis has earned the respectability of, I believe, everybody in this booth. This has been a really fun game to watch. Nonetheless, I, Victor Rojas. Like, exactly. Uh, Victor Rojas, absolute stud out there. Going to have a great season. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, on the, uh, on the Grace Davis roster she I do not see what grades these kids are on uh, but Rojas I mean still an absolute stud out there today offensively and defensively as there he is on the bottom of the screen he's going to be one-on-one uh, -on -one against number 23 James Logan handoff to number one he breaks the tackle and gets knocked out of bounds well as number one got closer to the blue team that looked a lot bigger Isaac Cabrera Martinez <laughs> Nina, Gum, Nina Gamma right there with the, Nino Gamma, sorry, with the knock out of bounds. Yeah, some of these Grace Davis players are pretty, pretty big. Okay. Yes. Well, the size is a lot bigger compared to James Logan. Yeah, they kind of look small from up here. As they got closer to the booth, it seems kind of scary to see how bigger they look. Pistol formation now for Grace Davis. Martinez muffs the handoff exchange and Logan's going to dive on top of it. It's a fumble. And there's a flag on the field at, at the end of the play. That might have been a taunting call right there. Aaron Harrison again, number 70, big game for Harrison. Harris Harrison with the fumble recovery and the PAT tonight. Mm -hmm. So there was taunting on both sides and yeah, then another call. Good pressure on that play too from 51, like Jordan Stoltz. Looks like coach is going to have a talk with all his players about that call. Well, you definitely want to because at this yeah. point you want to just be happy for taunting. At this point exactly. You, like, you've won the game. Just be humble at this yeah. point. You got to just, you know, play your game, be humble, and just get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> this game has been physical, of course. I, I imagine emotions are flying, especially on the Grace Davis side. I mean, if you look at it, uh, really, I mean, on the Grace Davis side of the field, compared to the James Logan side of the field, James Logan, for once, actually has a bigger roster yeah, in a football James game. Logan has a huge roster, 75 players. And currently, I think what one thing that uh, that has to be said here is like, look, we've won this game. Let's win with class now. This game is over. Let's win with class. Let's play with class because we do not want to, you know. Stir, stir up any bad blood in case we see these guys again. Like I said earlier, I mean, this is still controversial in my opinion, yeah. but I, if I'm James Logan, I don't want to see this team again, honestly. Yeah. I think Grace Davis definitely out for blood next time they play us, if ever. And Grace Davis will be more alert next time with that and have more preparation as well. And, indeed, and you know, that's another thing is that this game was quite literally developed in 14 hours. I mean, yeah. you saw at the early stages of our broadcast, it was very spotty. We, you know, like we, me and Brian couldn't really get into a groove. And now we've kind of gotten into a groove a little bit, especially me as Kyle uh, Tarzan. Yes. I think it's Kyle Tarzan, not Tarzan. That's a typo. Really? Yeah, I saw his name on the roster sheet on a different roster sheet. It's Tarzan. Hmm, let's see. I'll look at the uh, uh, Max Preps roster sheet. Yeah, yeah they, they have twos on. <laughs> they have him as Tarzan here on the lo on, on my uh, roster sheet from Logan. I'm going to call him Tarzan. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you know, 
Sometimes typos make it. Oh man. Hands off, hand it off to Tarzan there. Tarzan gets the first down. We'll have to see if, we'll have to see if hey, there time. you go. How about a how about a nickname being given to you on a broadcast? That's something to be proud of. <laughs> His real name is Kyle uh, Tazan. T U A Z O N. Tazan. All right, first down. Hand out to two his own Tarzan, baby. <laughs> and gets it back to eh, pass the line of scrimmage, maybe three yard pass it. Glad to see everybody get to play. Kyle two is on. Yeah, exactly. There, number forty, looking good. We we had Terrence Harrison. Attempt to pay the PAT. <laughs> That was fun to watch. The, the reaction by the I, crowd. That reaction was so great <laughs> from all his teammates. From everybody. I mean, yeah. that was just an intense reaction. I wish we had, like... Grace Davis was, yeah. like, had the great reaction. Yeah. I mean, that that's just the fun attitude that you want. To Azan Tarzan right there gets the hand off. To Azan again, going right. I'm not even going to kid around with you, everybody. I, it literally says Tarzan on my roster sheet. <laughs> I mean, hey, talk talk about a nickname, right? <laughs> you know, I would want to see Terrence Harrison attempt the field. <laughs> the way he picked that PAT, that could have made. Hey, you might get to see it, it here if, if Logan yeah. doesn't get this first down here on this third down. But Tuazan gets it. Tuazan again, but that was a nice tackle there. Oh boy. <laughs> I believe that was a first down. Yes, I believe so too. <laughs> <laughs> As there's 20, two, 2 minutes and 25 seconds remaining here in this game. Uh, James Logan up 35 to 8. They're At just drowning clock. clock. Yes, drowning clock. <laughs> Pass to Forbes incomplete. Questionable call there, but yeah. Well, yeah. I guess they want Forbes to have a chance tonight. Yeah, that's what they need. See, everybody having a chance to get the ball. Well, that uh, that plays into something on the other side that might not be taken lightly, too. So. Yeah, stat padding with this score. Well, I mean, you, you saw it with the reaction. No, no, not to bring up the 49ers again, but we are both 49er fans here as the broadcasters. Week 17 against the Seattle Seahawks this past season. Yeah, David Moore the, got the, his the, the, for his contract. Exactly, and not only that, but, but Russell Wilson went out and said about how disrespectful that was. Russell yeah. Wilson. Russell Wilson himself, like, uh oh. Oh, bad snap right there. I, was, I guess there's some karma for throwing a pass. <laughs> <laughs> they were in wildcat formation. I believe that was. Oh, man. I can't see the first step. And the clock didn't, the, the clock didn't go there. Again, to remind you all, please keep your masks on, keep your muffs cover your nose. We want to try to have a relatively quick all and right. orderly exit. Uh, small crowd that shouldn't be too difficult. Normally, no second down, handoff. Nope, it's a uh, keeper to Patterson. He's gonna get outside and he's gonna score another James Logan touchdown as James Logan continues to pat the score here. <laughs> well, I think, I think, I think, I mean, it, it's overkill yeah. at this point. <laughs> Trying to trying to show some some restraint here as the energy has died down. Logan's already won the game. Yeah, Patterson just getting another uh, however, touchdown to his resume. However, Terrace Harrison, that's a different story. Can he go two for two with uh with, with extra points here? Two for two. Come on, Harrison. If he misses this, they get they get a hundred gassers. They, they get double conditioning. <laughs> they get double conditioning if he misses this. Let's see if he can do this. Oh, he's done it once already. Terrence Harrison, let's uh let's get a grade on him real quick. Um, as a matter of fact, here he is. 
Just Not no that good. good. Just no good. He's a senior at the D-tackle position for James Logan, as listed on maxpreps.com. So it looks like they're getting double conditioning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just getting regular conditioning. That just offsets the one he made. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like offsetting penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we have a minute and 31 seconds here on the game clock. I mean, let's see if TR can catch another punt. Yeah. See, it looks like everybody's starting to wrap up everything that they got going on here in the booth. Let's go, Logan. Let's go, Logan. Let's go. As James Logan is, uh, James Logan is Definitely going to win this game and prove to 2-0 as Brian is uh, currently muted at this second. So i got to do some filling on my own. And now I'm going to unmute him. All right, there we go. Filling done. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. It's my fault. Not good with the buttons over here. <laughs> See, I told you guys this is the hardest job ever, pushing three buttons. I thought the hardest job was just uh, looking at the roster. <laughs> Yeah, yeah like it's it's days. it's very hard to uh to to mute the crowd mic like I just did now and then unmute it. <laughs> you know, you right there. Yeah, some love indeed. There's a lot more fiery attitude coming from the James Logan uh sideline. I mean, you like that though, honestly. I mean, you you still yeah. want to have some intensity because you know, what if you're in this position where this minute and 28 second drive pretty much decides your season right yeah you want to make sure that you practice intensity in, in these certain situations uh where, where it be not of the score because this could be a different team that you're playing and you're in a much more intense situation you want to finish with momentum exactly and there's a fumble and i think yeah. logan has it yeah logan. yep it's logan Double. Double I didn't see who got that. I think it might have been uh, number 75. Yes. And as I, I, I would assume now, after that turnover, James Logan is just going to uh, take a knee on this. Yeah. As this vaunted James Logan defense, two absolutely great performances. Uh, Jeff Frazier, could you look up here to the box, please? formation for the Colts there. Yes, indeed. As I've just muted the crowd microphone because uh, we have communication going on back and forth. I'm going to unmute it now. <laughs> it's, it seems like they, they've uh, messed up the victory formation. <laughs> And that's a neat. Well, Chuck, the Colts are going to time out the game. Uh, thank you all for coming tonight. Especially thank you very much to Grace I from Modesto. Otherwise, there would have been no game tonight. So, a hand for them, please. Indeed, a hand to uh, Grace Davis for allowing tonight's game to happen as. Not a normal year, so. Yes, a uh, not a normal year indeed. Uh, perfect words from Mr. Nesto, Boyd. Excellent. James Logan definitely will come home with this victory. Will stay home with this victory, rather. I guess that's a better term for it. Um, Get back into the locker room with that victory. Yeah. I mean, I imagine after a win like this, especially a physical win like this, where it felt like for a while there, it seemed like there was going to be a photo finish, like that that Grace Davis was going to wake up. They were going to be able to. Uh, and to uh, get 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 together and work together and try and make a game out of this, for for Logan to get out of this with five touchdowns called back via penalties, and turn this into an absolute blowout okay, well, with absolutely no doubt, that is huge, especially considering yes, the you, situation you, heading into halftime, when it really did seem like Grace Davis was going to be able to come back and possibly win this game possibly even make a game out yeah, of it it was a very very difficult but hard-fought game much respect to grace davis tonight for uh allowing us to have a game tonight and also playing their absolute hearts out um 
and I mean, I'll, I'll continue saying this. I don't want to see them again. <laughs> yeah, they're, I mean, I, they may seem friendly, but they're looking. Oh for yes, money. but they, I mean, hopefully they have a great season. I don't want to play them again yeah, though, because I'm Logan, feeling that's going to be an intense game Logan again. Logan up to two and zero while Grace Davis goes. To but Grace Davis, a uh, definitely uh, a not so easy. Um, 0-2. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a bit difficult to, to sit there and look at the scoreboard, 41 to 8, and say, yeah. oh yeah, that was a good game, you know. Yeah. But honestly, it was. It was just that there was to there. Travel there up here. It, exactly to travel up here. The game was developed in right, 14 hours. In a small but vocal crowd. Yeah, these guys are tired. I can tell. Like to exactly. travel up here a couple hours from Modesto mm -hmm. to put up to Union City to play a team you've never played, like you haven't seen in a long time, possibly. Mm -hmm. So shout out to them for, for making the game possible tonight. Yes, exactly. And um, we want to let you guys know, we're probably going to be uploading this sometime during the weekend. Um, so a couple things to, to note is that next week, next Friday, as long as all things uh, go well, James Logan will be playing against Moreau Catholic High School uh, in a rematch and a run back of last year's 36-13 win by James Logan High School uh, where the James Logan defense got four turnovers, beat Moreau Catholic in their home to take the division and also spoil their homecoming. So that's going to be also an intense game. Uh, I imagine that game is going to be a lot closer in the yeah. scoreboard not just in the stats, because today the game was close in the stats, but the scoreboard really didn't show it. Um, but, I mean, that's about it. Five touchdowns called back from, for James Logan uh, off of penalties. I believe there was two that was called back for – or yeah, no, actually, no, one that was called back for uh, uh, by Grace Davis, but they ended up getting it on yeah. the adjacent drive. So, I mean, overall, hard-fought game. Uh, much respect to Grace Davis for what they showed on the field. Uh, statistically wise, it was great. We want to thank again Gabriella Udehoven for uh, operating our camera tonight, and also David uh, Sanders for helping us out and operating the camera while Gabriella was down here helping us out for a minute, uh, getting us organized. Um, Brian, thank you for showing up. Yeah, yeah. And I I got the text this morning as I woke up. I was oh like, man! Have a game tonight? I woke up at like 9:30. I was like, "Oh, you're kidding me! We have a game!" I was, no. I was ready. I was just ready to relax the whole thing. I had I had a whole plan on what I was gonna do today, and I'm like, clean slate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the end, like it's all fun. And all exactly. Put on the resume, you know. Exactly. Like, it's a great it's a great experience out here, especially um, with the uh, football and the crowds back. You know. I, mi I miss doing this. I do, too. Yeah. I absolutely miss this back in the fall, so I'm so glad that we have at least a spring football season now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm excited for next week now. I really want to see how this team is going to match up against Moreau Catholic. You remember, Moreau beat us two years ago in our turf. And then last and year. And it was, it was a routing, too. It wasn't yeah. even just a beat. It, was, it wasn't us just getting beat. It was a routing. It, so. was, it was a message. It oh, yeah. Being sent. And we sent a message back. We returned yeah. that message yeah, that Gary last year. Yeah, their homecoming, took their division. You know? There you go. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting matchup considering how Moreau Catholic's going to recover from that loss last year. Exactly. Right. And um, closing statements tonight, um, I mean, overall, just like I said, a fun game. Um, and thank you again, everybody, for watching and, you know, interacting with the stream. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like and comment and subscribe. We do a lot of broadcasts here on the James Logan YouTube channel. If you happen to be watching this on my YouTube channel because we can't upload it on the James Logan YouTube channel, I appreciate my audience checking this out as well. Um, and I just want to let everybody know, stay safe out there. Social stay six stay apart, safe stay out safe. there and love life, man. Love every precious moment. I mean, this is a small high school football game that we're broadcasting over, but this has been so much fun. And, you know, it really helps you try and, uh, like, grip a hold of life in general because 
you know, here we are. We're so excited to watch a high school football game. Imagine, imagine what's going to happen when we get to go see the pros again. You know, the simple things in life are worth pleasuring. Do not ever skip out on the simple things. The simple things are the greatest. Yeah, you know, also the, the Arena League um, football fan by, run by fans, I've been watching that too. So that's another, that's another thing I've been looking at, you know, leading up to Logan. Um, I've been watching a lot of their um, Instagram their 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 reels on Instagram. Indeed, and uh, final thank yous to Coach Bagawizin and Coach uh, or Mr. Yako, not Coach Yako. <laughs> uh, Coach Bagawizin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coach Bagawizin, thank you so much for uh, helping us set this up and helping us uh, iron out some of the issues in here in the broadcasting booths. We want to thank Mr. Yako for allowing us to use the TriCaster and some of the cameras, even though we didn't really have a crew for this. However, thank you for Coach um, Eddie. Thank you, Coach Eddie Smith, too, for, for um, reaching out to us as well. Coach Bagley Exactly, and, every, and everybody on the coaching staff for James Logan High School, thank you for reaching out with us and contacting us throughout the weeks. Uh, this, is a, uh, th this is just, you know, to celebrate you guys especially. You guys played as much of a role as we did here in getting this broadcast out, so we appreciate that, you guys. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much, Mr. Yako, Mr. Coach Bagawizin, uh, Coach Eddie, everybody that's on the coaching staff for James Logan. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe out there.